Hello, I'm Colin and here are today's headlines from Pink 60. The Kaleidoscope Trust has called on the British Prime Minister to back a US-led global initiative to combat abuses against queer people. Director Lance Price said David Cameron must now demonstrate his commitment by throwing Britain's weight and influence behind this campaign. The Australian Labour Party have now voted to allow same-sex couples to acquire a certificate of no impediment, which recognises their relationship if they were married overseas. The Scottish Episcopal Church has filed its response on extending marriage rights to gay couples. The General Synod said it was not possible to discuss changes to allow gay marriage within the time frame of the consultation. The world's first intersex person to hold official office was voted in as Mayor of Hobson's Bay, Victoria State, Australia last week. Tony Griffer will honour his promise to march in Merrill Robes at next year's Victorian Pride Parade. And finally, a new study by Euroceda has found no evidence of increased risk of non-age-related illness from use of combination antiretroviral therapy. The authors said the results are reassuring that prolonged use of CART does not appear to be leading to increased risk of death. That's all from us today. Join us again tomorrow.